Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benji Commentary and today we have a special video in hand today. Today we need to talk about something. Today I need to get something off my chest. And today we need to talk about social media. You have your Facebook, your Instagram, your Snapchat, your Twitter, your Tumblr, your Pinterest. This is social media. Now of course with social media coming around and everything going around today, everybody has a social media account. If you don't, kudos to you. I wonder what you are doing to promote yourself. Even even if you have a YouTube account, you have social media. This is all social media. We already know that. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know that social media has its ups and it has its downs. But today, we need to talk about Instagram. Now, Instagram is one of those social media apps where I actually use the most, I'm pretty sure. But let's, let's just say this, right? Instagram terms of service are trash absolutely trash because if you see something you're going to report it right if it's not for the seen eyes of another individual like uh kids or an adult or somebody probably doesn't even want to see that now instagram has banned all sexual exploit photos whatever you want to say images that kind of avoids the guidelines but when it comes to reporting these things instagram doesn't do anything about it and me personally i think that instagram report system is based off bots even spam reporting doesn't do anything at all when you spam report and you get a whole bunch of people to report something report an account report a repost then it's still not going to get taken down because instagram is like eh doesn't look bad so then they'll send you a message saying oh well we saw your request and it doesn't look like this account is really you know doing anything to break the guidelines so we're gonna keep their post up and uh, you can suffer and cry about it instead of Instagram actually taking the time out their day going through posts instead they'll send a bot to tell you that mm, this account didn't do anything bad when in reality it did but this is social media today. I have reported so many scam accounts, so many nudity accounts, so many accounts that literally go against the terms of service of Instagram, but all we get back is a fuck you. Why, Instagram? Why? I'm trying to do good on a platform that I actually enjoy sometimes. There's an account that goes by TripNYC. And they're on Facebook and they send ads to Instagram. Now, Trip NYC is a very known brand in the fashion scene. If, if you don't know what there is, they sell like clothes or whatever and they're pretty good. I like Trip NYC. Once I get enough money and I actually have the funds to purchase some Trip NYC pants, of course, I'm going to buy them. But what this Trip NYC sale page do on Facebook, they will send ads to Instagram. And then literally put like, oh, Trip NYC sale, come get a discount on Trip NYC pants. And if you buy a certain amount, you get like a good discount or whatever. And you'll probably end up paying like uh, $30 for some pants. That's like uh, probably $500 to $600 if you get five. But as soon as you pay for it, you get no notification that you paid for it. They take the money straight out your account. And you realize, oh, well, how do I track? Guess what? You can't. This whole page is a scam and you just got scammed. And now you probably need to go change your card information and everything you just did because, yeah, they take information from you. This includes your password, your card, your number, your email, and your email password, and your card numbers and all the security stuff and all that blah blah blah. But I tried to report this page and guess what? They gave me back a fuck you. This page doesn't do anything. It's not a scam. We're going to keep it up. So hopefully somebody sees this video and tells Facebook to like, hey, this is a scam. Because I tried by myself and I didn't tell nobody. So now I have to do it public. Trip NYC sale is a scam on Facebook. Thank you. Now let me go back to the original thought of this video. See, I follow a page on Instagram called You Are a Hitman. Now this page has over 200,000 followers. It's a pretty, pretty big page. And people are active. And this person posts videos and stuff every single day. So it's really good that they're like really trying to do something to stop these Instagram pages. Now let me give you the backstory of the whole page though. 
See, you are a hitman posts these videos saying, do you want to be a hitman? I'm pretty sure everybody in their mind is going to say, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? So then they'll say, look in the comments, I have three accounts for you. Go spam report them. They are literally breaking Instagram terms of service. So you click on the comments and you go to the pages and you see that these accounts are literally breaking terms of service of Instagram from art being made into corn from literal just straight up corn just a whole bunch of stuff and it, it, it's weird because it's so many pages because why is this dude posting every day three new pages just do the, the multiplication right 365 times three and and you, you'll see what you can get it's not just one big account it's plenty of big accounts some of these accounts that are we need to report are breaking terms of service can have up to 20,000 followers. It's 20,000 weird people on those pages. And there's also pages that literally posts, I'm not gonna say the word, but um, uh, cheese, uh, you get the thought. And as you report these pages, as you tell Instagram, hey, these pages are breaking terms of service. Instagram does absolutely nothing to fix that. They send you a message on your Instagram saying, hey, we looked through this page. We, it seems that this page isn't really breaking in terms of service, but we would still like to support you. So hit help and they don't do nothing to support you. I want to stop these pages as much as plenty of people want to do, but it's not going to stop until somebody actually comes out and speak up for it. Um, it's almost the same thing with Twitter. I've been trying to ban Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Those videos for the longest and the comments that people spam their own post in the the freaking comments so they can get a little promotion on their Twitter account it's it's absolutely weird because sometimes i want to look at a genuine funny video but i can't when somebody is it's 20% off right now honey and i'm just like i don't want to see that shit elon musk made twitter worse Instagram being taken over by Facebook and Facebook taking over Instagram is fucking trash. Instagram is going down a shithole. TikTok is still a pretty funny app. I like Instagram Reels. I think they're funnier than TikTok. But being on Instagram kind of makes me depressed. TikTok is, might be the only great app right now that you want to be social, so, blah, socially, social media influenced by. Ah, I messed up my words. And I'm going to keep that in there because I don't care. TikTok is being closed from being banned. So how about we just go to the OG website? You know what I'm saying? The website that taught us all. YouTube. But let me get back on track. See, Instagram is not a bad platform. I don't think it's that bad. But this is the only thing that's uh, it's it's making me want to blow my brains out. When people are spam reporting accounts, spam reporting accounts, and nothing is happening, then we have a problem. Now, YouTube has gotten really, really, really good with stuff like this, but Instagram is the problem. And then it gets worse when you have these accounts covering up what they are posting by putting in the description breastfeeding. They have a whole description of like breastfeeding. Now, one, these videos can go out to the public. They can go out to the world. And I'm pretty sure people are finding these type of videos on like their Instagram reels when they're scrolling and stuff like this. But the fact that they are covering it up posting a very long video in the beginning and then the description says breastfeeding and then they try to cover up like the edit cover on Instagram so Instagram when they do report it it just bypasses their system and it's kind of like oh yeah these people aren't doing really you know they're doing nothing they're definitely not covering up a corn video that's 20 minutes long by posting a very long intro that's three minutes long and then in the description it says breastfeeding because under Instagram terms of service that is okay but you see why I have the problem with this now. You also have the pause challenge where they'll post a photo of a girl and then you have to pause to actually see that girl, uh, let's say uncovered. But if Instagram was real humans and not bots just sitting on a computer like an AI machine, they will see these posts, actually go through them and then take them down. But instead, they just eh, glance over it. Uh, they're not doing nothing bad. Just yesterday, I seen videos and i mean videos not edit cover the description doesn't say anything about breastfeeding or none of that bull crap literally butt naked butt naked everything you can see but once you report it 
Instagram hits you with a, oh, this account really doesn't go, you know? And it's so frustrating to see because there are, there are little kids on Instagram and if these videos go out to them, you are literally ruining a generation of children. And that's why I'm frustrated. Instagram terms of service are shit. They literally say, oh, you can show some nipples under sheer clothing. But once a woman has that dedicated to her whole Instagram account, we have a problem. I've been reporting this lady account over and over and over and numerous times Instagram still hits me with the oh this account is doing nothing bad yes they are another reason is the children there is plenty of children on social media apps today if somebody passes by this they're gonna wanna look more deep into it and then it's gonna turn into an addiction kids are vulnerable they are easily influenced by the social media they are easily influenced by whatever they see on the screen. That's why a lot of predators go for kids because they can lure them in with anything, which is pretty shitty to but say. If you are a parent, please, 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 for the love of God, watch what your children are doing on social media. Monitor them, please, because it's a lot of creeps, weirdos on the Internet. And we all know this. I know this. I'm pretty sure you know this. Don't let them post. It's a lot of creeps. And as much as I want to take down every creep one by one, slap them around and throw them in a prison cell, under the prison cell and burn them to hell, I can't do that without anybody help. So I thought I'd come on here and talk about Instagram terms of service because their terms of service are shit. Benji commentary back with another video. I hope you enjoyed what you see. I hope you enjoyed what you hear. I hope that you can help me on this journey. And hopefully Instagram sees or Instagram gets the message and finally look through some of these accounts because it's it's pretty bad. It's, it's really bad. But uh, Benji Commentary is out. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.